I, I'm optimistic for the future. I know it's, it may sound naive, but I am optimistic. Um, I believe in myself and I believe in my message and I believe in the guys in my community because these, this, the guys that roll with me, these guys take action. Like they don't sit around and I don't let them sit around and fuck. Like these guys are changing their lives. Like these guys, like I said, this guy, Thomas in my group, 18 years old, man. This kid looks like Steve Rogers from Captain America. He is jacked. He's jacked. He's smart. He's making the right decisions to get his um to proper degree in college, which is going to be like I think like computer science. Which you know, talk you know, talking with Cap says that's one of the best ones. Um, I'm not going to go into it, but I I'll, I'll go into it on my term. Vince, I want you to go ahead, buddy. I agree with every, I co-sign and agree with everything everyone said thus far. Uh, and Thor was absolutely correct about staying away from mass media um consumption. That shit. I mean, I remember when I was a kid that that's all we had. We now have other outlets like here. When I was a kid, you, we uh, dinner was at five o'clock, and then as we were eating, the news was on the TV, and we had newspapers. That's all we had, so we were fed. We had to take. We were take. We took what we were given. We had no other options. Now we have all these other options, and we're seeing the the uh, the code in the matrix, as it were. We're saying, wait a minute, the mass media is saying one thing, and these people in the field with cameras are showing us in real time what the media is lying about. I, what, what? So I, stay away from mass media consumption. Do your own research. Look at it. Continue watching John's John's channel and other channels like it. And you know, again, yeah, do your own research and, and move forward that way. Everyone here, everyone here watch for the most part, fundamentally speaking, mm -hmm. shout out to TJ is intelligent and they want to learn more. Um, this, these are these channels are one of the best ways to do so, and I think that mass media just stay away from it. Okay, Abu, you're up, buddy. Um, yeah, I think Ripple is spreading, but uh, it's it's fractured. Actually, you know, I talk about it a lot. I made that prediction in that video back in December of like what 2018. I talked about this, and basically, it's spreading, but it's not going mainstream. It's spreading in the sense that you have three different groups. You got the seekers, which are people who are actually looking for red pill knowledge because they experienced something about it and they found the positive benefits that it brings to a man. Mm -hmm. You got the creepers who are kind of on the fence. They've heard about it through TV media because, you know, we've had like, like, like Anthony Johnson, you know, he went on TV and was being goofy. And so now people are coming looking at like, what's going on here? And they're running into the multiple camps. We got the trash, we got the chads, we got this one, we got that one, you know, and people are like, yo, what the hell's going on here? And they're trying to figure things out. And then you have the guys like Tony Stark, the mockers, you know, mm -hmm. they show up and, you know, they've got reinforced blue pill ideology, you know, within them. And they want to show that they're the good guy. And, you know, uh, we're, we're, we're pro lady, you know, and, uh, and all that good stuff with the women's and they're going to come in and going to try and mock the guys. And then of course you got the camps. That's a different topic that are within here. So I think it is spreading. It's not mainstream, but it's definitely like growing because more and more people are like flooding into the scene and it's, it's turning kind of chaotic to, to get the clear voices. Now it's difficult, you know? And so if you're not established in the community and you come in now, who, who are you going to listen to? You know, I mean, if you're not familiar with people who brought you to like someone like Rolo Massey's work, how are you going to come across in, in the madness that we see on Twitter nowadays? You know, guys talking about tanning their buttholes. You know, I mean, where are you going to find <laughs> you know, a clear message? And we see this because there's more and more people coming in trying to jump into the whole thing and like adding their voice. And it's, so that's clear and spreading. So, <sighs> that looking at the culture through the chats of things, through Twitch, through YouTube, the comment section. I look at comment creators. I look at every. I, uh, I look at content creators. I study what's going on with Hollywood, and every single indicator that I'm seeing is showing that there is there are inception levels of a change coming. Okay, you would talk about the financial world. Everybody knows the banking industry is corrupt. Everybody knows bankers are all pieces of. Sh Everybody hates their fucking bank. The fact that you these banks are trying to like tell me like I got to pay even twelve dollars a month just to keep a checking account with you, like go. F I can't like I'm a grown ass man and like my bank won't let me spend more than ten thousand dollars a day, in a single transaction. They they they're limiting my money. Right? What's the answer to that? We have Bitcoin. Right? Say what you will about Bitcoin. 
But if you're if you have a negative output outlook on Bitcoin, quite honestly, you don't know what the fuck about. Um, look at Bitcoin right now. Right now, it is floating between eighty five hundred to ten thousand five hundred dollars. Bitcoin used to be worth fractions of a penny. Okay, fractions of a penny. Now, one Bitcoin is worth thousands of dollars. Take a look at Hollywood, right? Everybody knows I am a huge Star Wars fan, right? I'm, I am I watch, I consume an ungodly amount of Star Wars news every single day. I made a one-hour criticizing, vi like a video of me. I had like a, a notebook and I just like wrote down point by point why I hated The Last Jedi because it was, it was filled with feminist propaganda. And guys came to me through that video. And we're like, hey, man, you can teach about dating and you can teach me how to like be more fitness, have more fitness, have more health, have more finances. You can do that. And if you look at the box office results, they call it the fandom menace, right? The fans decided like that we're going to boycott this thing and Hollywood is forced to respond. Disney is in full panic mode right now. I don't know if you guys know, but by Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, he stepped down because he can't handle all of the shit that's going on right now because the rise of Skywalker was if you ever if you watched that movie first of all it's a cinematic abortion like not not a proper clinic abortion like 1960s here's a coat hanger in a back alley kind of abortion it was awful it was absolutely atrocious yeah it's a real yeah. shame what they did with uh, Star Wars I, I feel like <clears throat> they made Luke an embodiment of the patriarchy and they gave him a few good points, but they just tore him to nothing. The most powerful Jedi ever. I was a big fan, but uh, they made the worst movies I've ever seen. Straight well, and, up. And look at not just, all right, so we talked about these movies, and this is one of the things that go with mainstream, because I, I try to stay away from TV. But they're all things I like to watch, sport and events and whatnot. And you can't help but have to force-fed these fun commercials. And it's like, it's, and there's one out there where it's about the uh, new iPhone 11. And it's a group of boys and girls having a snowball fight. And it's like, here comes this little girl. And, you know, all the boys are rallying around, like following her into battle. And she's like jumping off a log and like just absolutely trying to twist the fuck around. And uh, just goes along with the trying to um, put this woman in, in the hero role in the hero spotlight and the conqueror. Just that's very true. That's very true. And I feel like not only that, but there's this political machine mm -hmm. under underpinning this narrative, because if you look at let's take the, the lesbians and the gay and the trans agenda, you know, no offense here, but gays are only what, six percent at the most, three to six percent of the Four. population Four, And out of that, how many are married? Less than one percent yet. Even me sitting in a class at a large corporation they didn't show a single heterosexual couple out of four they were all some kind of mixed couples when they were training how to behave at work mm -hmm. really strange because the vast majority of everybody sitting there was just normal heterosexual couples at least to our knowledge and it, it but it's being crammed down our throat at every level for some reason i think there's some political underpinnings there i haven't quite identified yet maybe it's communism or socialism Something is being used. Oh, yeah. So, look, I, 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 I just want to – this one's for the chat and this one's for the panel as well. But tell me, like, I think, like I said, people are, are waking up to this again. This is uh, Ewan McGregor giving a speech about um, Obi-Wan Kenobi and uh, talking about – he talks about um, – this is about birds of prey. But I think he, I think so this, what was it like getting to be a part of check it out here? Just check out his his little contrived speech and tell me if you guys could pick up on it. So what was it like getting to be a part of this comic film with these badass women? Oh, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. I mean, it's an, it was um, Chris, uh, it was really I mean, we were both, I mean, I can speak for both of us because we've been answering the same questions, but there was a real uh, pride and honor and in being involved in a movie that is totally female led. <laughs> <laughs> produce and you know all the stars these amazing women powerful women and a film that tackles not, not just feminism but misogyny you know and and in its extreme form also, what exactly is he talking about in its very mundane everyday annoying 
misogyny that women have to deal with with guys explaining and darling this and darling the other and um i just was happy to be part of something that reminds guys that that's not okay anymore you know so uh, i thought Chris that was like cool. ditto yeah <laughs> ditto. well said well said let me ask you this real quick ewan what's going on with the obi-wan kenobi series because there's so many so okay i, I did anybody pick up on on the little nuances there? I want to talk about that real he's, quick. He's trying to remember yeah, talking. Keep stalling, to bringing this guy in. So he's trying to remember way. certain talking points to hit. Mm -hmm. I got to keep teaching the, the body language stuff because. Many reports out. So what was it like getting to be a part of this comic film with these badass women? Oh, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. I mean, it's an, it was. Um, he looked to the left. Uh, I mean, we were both, I mean, I can speak for both of us because we've been answering the same questions, but there was a real uh, pride and honor in being involved in a movie that is totally female-led, directed, written, produced. So it's right here where he, you know, you could tell he's full of shit when he does this. When, the, when his buddy pops in and he says, I'll speak for the both of us when I say this. Basically, mm -hmm. he's cueing to his friend, shut up, and you'll see his buddy get in complete submissive body language and then from there when they defer to his friend all he says is yeah i agree with everything he says watch it one more time a part of this comic film with these badass women oh it was brilliant it was brilliant i mean it's an it was um chris uh, it was really I mean, we were both, I mean i can speak for both of us because we've been answering the same questions but there was a real uh pride so he immediately starts pride. adjusting himself looks down an honor and being involved in a movie that is looking down as a submissive body language so he's immediately submitting to him listening and watch what he does totally female led directed written produced and you know all the stars these amazing women powerful women and a film that tackles not just feminism but misogyny you know and and in its extreme form but also what i love most about the script was in its very mundane everyday annoying misogyny that women have to deal with with guys sort of mansplaining and darling this and darling the other and um i just was happy to be part of something that reminds guys that that's not okay anymore you know so uh, i thought Chris that was, was like cool. ditto yeah ditto. <laughs> well said well said let me ask you this real quick <laughs> he doesn't believe a word of that no <laughs> he was choking back his own bile yeah, like, uh -huh. what, you know what's really interesting is he's doing these political talking points instead of saying this is a very entertaining movie the depth of the characters will really stir within you uh, you'll find it fascinating and then the ending is incredible you have to come see it it's something different here very different it, i feel like he's really struggling to hit those yeah that's true he doesn't actually points. talk about <laughs> he's talking everything's political he's not actually talking no. about the fucking movie it is nothing like in depth it's all adjectives and Big words, feminism, misogyny, and powerful, and all this crap. It's just, you know, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I used to, I always thought you and McGregor was like a fucking man's man. But you I know? said, yeah, he's only he's only saying this because he got caught screwing his birds of prey co-star. Yeah, <laughs> what what he doesn't mention is that he cheated on his wife, uh, and, uh, okay. and he got busted, Oops. which I don't uh -huh. I don't fault him for. Hey, I I don't fault him once whatsoever. The guy's Obi Wan; he could do whatever he wants. But don't come at me with this double talk about daily misogyny stuff. And th another thing that these people, uh, these guys in Hollywood, like like Thor likes to say, they uh, what how what's the fancy way you say it? they got their head up their ass? <laughs> they have a severe case of cranial rectal intrusion. Cranial rectal intrusion. Okay, cranial rectal intrusion. I like it. 